Hello everyone. Welcome to Wild in Wyami. Today, something new, my first ever live stream. I'm a little bit nervous. Let's see how we go. Hopefully someone's tuning in. I've got the live chat going, so um, feel free to put a comment in the, uh, in the chat to make it a bit more interactive. So what have we got today? We are going to be looking at the secondary marketplace on OpenSea. This is really geared for those new investors, those people who have been sitting on the sidelines when it comes to Wild World, not sure what the benefits are, uh, I figured it would be worthwhile just taking a bit of a dive into what's out there and what I would be doing if I was buying my first um, Wild World NFTs. You're actually coming in, I think, in a great time. The first of the Trinity benefits, we'll discuss them more in a second, are coming up soon. So let's have a look what I've got here. So we've got um, a few tabs open. We're going to be looking today at three Genesis assets. So the goal for today is going to be preparing you for all the benefits that come with Trinity Season, which includes down the track your Genesis land. Now, if you know anything about Metaverse projects, you know Genesis land is the golden ticket. So if you want to be eligible for the free land that's coming in the future, you need three Genesis assets. Today, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to look at the cheapest three. Let's get your foot in the door. We're going to be looking at beasts, any beast on the secondary marketplace um, will qualify you for Genesis. We don't need to get too confused and bogged down on different types yet. We're going to be looking at um, the wheels. We're going to ignore any of the um, any of the shoe collection and the kicks. We're just going to be looking at wheels to keep it simple. And we're going to be looking at the motos as well. Um, I've got next to each tab the rarity. Um, rarity will play a factor down the track. Um, if your goal is just to get floor price and get in as cheap as possible, then we'll cover that. But if you are interested in maybe some of the possible perks of going um, rare models, we do have spreadsheets. I'll put links. Um, I haven't done it now, but I will put links in the description after this is all finished on how you can access the rarity for Wolf, Wheel and Moto. So. Let's get started. I hope you like my crib. It's not my crib. I wish it was my crib. Just thought I'd have a play around with a bit of a green screen today. Um, how are we all doing anyway? Right. So first things first, we're looking at, I'm going from, I'm coming from the perspective of, um, uh, I want free land. I want the six benefits that come with owning Trinity. So three land drops, one of them being the Genesis land. And then we have three other drops, the first of which is another Genesis asset. Um, and the snapshot for that is in four days. So if you want your Trinity and get all six benefits, let's get shopping. Okay, so the wolf, here we go. When you go to OpenSea, I'm using OpenSea. I know people have moved to Blur, um, but I'm going to stick with what I know and what I'm comfortable to share. Uh, look, there's, as with anything, there's people trying to make a quick buck, uh, setting up fake accounts. When you go into Wild Worlds and or the Beast account on OpenSea, check for the blue tick. And you can also just check, check the volume. Is the volume high? What's happening with, with offers? You know, you you know, just use a bit of common sense when it comes to making sure you've got the right Wild Beast Wolf collection. Um 3,333 wolves. Let's look at the floor price. We got some wolves here. Uh, cheapest one is 0.87 Ethereum. Look, my, my number one tip with anyone is going to be um, get what you like. You know, if you're playing, these are in-game assets, right? So you're spending a lot of money on something that you want to um, represent you. And uh, my number one pick would be um, something that you like. And that's going to be different for everyone. Um, each wolf will have the option of different um, accessories. So you can, this one here has got a piercing. This one's got an ear piercing. This one's got a nose piercing. This one's got sunglasses. Some don't have any at all, like this one here, which can make it less rare than others. So obviously we look at this eye patch wolf here. It's got the eye patch and the nose ring. Two accessories will probably make it that little bit rarer. So what are we going to do? Let's look, yeah, let's click on this one here. Let's have a look at him. He looks good. And when you click on the wolf, you get a few different options here. You can add to cart, make offer. Um, there are offers constantly going in. So we've got an offer here of 0.815, which isn't too floor, too far below the price. You can see the price history. So it sold December the 4th for one Ethereum. 
And what we're gonna do, actually, I think what I fancy doing is looking, checking this one out on Rarity. So we've got Wolf 617. So I'm gonna go up to the tabs here, Wolf Pack here, and I'm gonna do a search for Wolf 617. So you can see here, Wolf 617, it's ranked 1773 out of 3,333. So just uh, under halfway down on the rarity scale, the rarest ones would be obviously ranked number one. Look, that may or may not be an issue for you. Maybe just like the wolf and you want to buy it. That's absolutely fine. Um, different things that can impact rarity, though, would be things like um, whether it's got mechanical parts. So do we have any here with mechanical parts? I can see one here. So you can see the mechanical part. These are called hybrid wolves, and you can search perfectly for hybrid wolves and, dis and dismiss all the others. They tend to be a bit rarer, um, and you might like those. Sometimes you get a mechanical um, tail or forelimbs and the tail as well, which looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it's really just a case of getting your foot in the door. These are the most expensive of the three Genesis assets we'll be looking at today. Um, I said, so you can search by attributes. So if you fancy the hybrid wolves, you think, yep, I want one with a mechanical part. You can click on hybrid here, and this will filter out anything that does not have mechanical parts. So these tend to be a little bit more expensive. They have extra in-game benefits as well, including, um, I think they might go a bit faster, or they can jump a bit higher. Um, but yeah, and the last one that we're going to look at is the mech. So the mech has completely mechanical parts. It's the rarest of the three types. Mech. And you can see here the floor price for a mech is 1.3 Ethereum. So it's gone right up there in price because as you can see, these are completely mechanical. They have a uh, higher rarity. They have uh, better in-game benefits as well. Um, so yeah, it's honestly, it's a case of picking one that you like um, and Looking forward to the benefits that come with having one of the three Genesis assets you need for the Trinity. All right, let's keep going and look at the next Genesis asset, which is going to be uh, the wheels. So similar thing, type in Wild World onto OpenSea, check for the blue tick, really important. Check the volume is high. If, you've got, if you're going to Wild World, there's no blue tick and you've got a 0.5 Ethereum total volume, then you know that it's nonsense, guys. Leave it alone. Make sure you get the right one. Um, now, we're only looking for the purpose of today for new ease. We're just looking at wheels, and any car will do. Absolutely any car. With the kicks, you've got to be careful, so we're going to ignore them. Um, so wheels, again, have a look at what you like. Rarity can play a factor. Rarity is harder to do. When you're searching rarity scores on this, it's a little bit harder to do. Um, but let's see what we've got. So we've got a floor price of point. For six Ethereum. Always surprised me because the wheels presumably would be um, would be better in game than having a wolf. However, the wolves, there are fewer numbers, so the price is driven there because if you have a if you have a car, you want a wolf, and there's less wolves than cars, so the competition is there. Um, but yeah, I mean I love these. I love the Winos, Winos. I wouldn't even know how to say it. I've got one myself actually. I'm not selling anything today, by the way. I'm not trying to this is completely independent. This is purely just a guide for newbies. Um, I love the I love this car. I like the color combinations of quite a few. Some of them have, you can see this one here. Let's zoom in on this one. It has a promotional um, label on the side. I can't even see what that is. Uh, there's no added perks to them. I think they were going to promote us at the start. Some people like them, some people don't. Um, hi, well, Okay, looks pretty good. I won't put the engine on again. Hi, Wild Ash in New Zealand. Welcome. Thanks for putting a comment on the, at least someone's watching for now. I don't know if anyone else is, but thank you. Um, hey, but this will stay online. So if anyone comes across this in six months or a year time and they're wondering, maybe Genesis lands out then or they want to get involved, you can, this, 
would all still apply, I would imagine, in six months' time. If it doesn't, I'll take it off. Okay, so, um, yep, yeah, so we've got the rarity here is governed by different assets, such as the environment, um, pattern, the color, the car name, the model itself. That's obviously going to be a key factor. Some, some car models, there's only one or two versions of it. Uh, the Wustang, the, um, there's quite a few of them. Rarity score for that is not the highest. Uh, still a nice car. If you like it, then, then click on buy. Um, what else to look for on wheels? Um, if you see one, and we'll scroll down until we see one with uh, light underneath the chassis. Let's see. Okay. You can see here the Wonderbird here and here, and then the... 1967 um, model here. They've got light. You can see the, the lighting underneath the chassis. It's not specific to particular models. There'll be some more further down. The King Wilder. When you see these, they are called... Um, uh, environment is the hideout. Now, there's certain perks to the hideout that none of the car has, um, including access to a, a hidden location um, and double staking... Um, compared to other wheels. So these were the first 1,000 that were minted. Um, yeah, the price for them was significantly higher um, a year or so ago. You might might get one for, you might need to trade three normal for one hideout, but the price of these has gone right down. So there you go, the Wilder hideout. Quite a few have that trait, 1,000 of them, um, but there's still certain perks um, to holding them that the other cars don't have. Um, in terms of, yeah, in terms of the models that I like, I've been eyeing up this one for a while. This one here, this W class, that's called a G3. So your models uh, are grouped into rarity G1, G2, G3, G4, G5, and I think there's G6 as well. G1 being the rarest ones. Uh, this one's a G3, so it's quite high up in the rarity. It's, well, in my mind, I think that's a good price. I've been sitting on the sides with that one for a while. Um, I said, not financial advice, I'm just saying what I would be looking at if I was new to this uh, to this project. Uh, I love the Wiener. If I was looking for a entry level at floor price, I think this one looks great as well. But yeah, go with what you like. Honestly, guys, um, they're all cars that can be used in the in the in the um, metaverse. So um, yeah, good luck. Um, the last one we're going to look at is the motos. So the wheels, these are the cheapest of the lot. Um, and similar to before, you have different types. Um, we've got uh, standard road bikes. We've got ones with slightly different wheels that will allow you to ride on dirt or on sand. These ones, um, if you can see, they, they, they're sort of the, um, the tread on the wheel. This is called a paddle. So this is good for sand driving. This one up here is good for dirt and off-roading. This one here is a normal street wheel. Um, and what else do we have options further down? We've got these ones here, the exotics that hover slightly off the ground. These look pretty cool. So they'll be able to go on road, on dirt, on sand as well. Uh, they look pretty cool. I'm, I'm uh, really interested to see how those go in the game. And do we have any sidecars? You want to put your wolf on a sidecar? Yes, at point four Ethereum, you can ride with your wolf in its sidecar. Um, yeah, so look, there, there, there is another type called the hover. Um, I will put it on because we're talking about um, motos. Um, and these are basically flying bikes. Um, there's flying cars as well. I'm not going to cover flying cars today, um, but the flying bikes they look really cool but don't get one of these and a standard moto because they're both classed as the same genesis asset it would only be one of the three that you need for the um for the trinity um that's about it guys when it comes to trinities so let's let's have a look at this one just well, i'll go through rarity again with you so moto 2161 so i'm going to fire up the rarity tab for motos control f and I'm going to go hashtag, what did I say it was? Uh, 2161. 2161. And you can see here that the rating for that one, it's ranked 204 out of 6,396. So a really high ranking. 
those those um uh the crafts really are the hover bikes are they're, they're all um highly rated similar to the mechs for the wolves all high rated there as well look when it comes to rarity i don't know how the team's going to go with that are they going to give are they going to base it on ranking i've got um you know i've got a uh wolf that is just an organic just doesn't have any mech parts but it has quite a high rating so will they Will they give rewards based on rating or whether the fact they have mech parts or they're fully mech? I have no idea. So at this stage, guys, my tip would be um, go with what you like. Get one. If you want a Trinity, get one asset from the Beast collection. Remember, this is just the mechs. Let's take that off and look for, uh, well, the organics, which are the entry level ones. Actually, let's just take them all off so we can see the hybrid. Now and again, a hybrid pops up at the floor level. Um which always surprised me because they should probably be valued a little bit higher and just find one that you like. Honestly, that is the way that I did it. And that's the way I would be doing it now. I wouldn't be looking too far down the list. Um, I mean, for me, the difference between 0.84 and 0.94, you know, if you really like this, if you really like this eye patch white wolf, um, well, that's for you to decide paying a little bit more, getting a, a wolf that, that you, that you like. Um, judgment call but as you go further down and further down if you're new to wilder world i probably wouldn't be looking down at you know 1.3 1.4 that's my opinion um with the car so let's go what i would do here we go this is what i would do not financial advice but if i was new i would probably oh let me have a look which is the lowest hybrid this is probably what i'd do i'd probably have a look at the hybrids 0.94, so that's going to be this one down here, that hybrid, that hybrid there, both have one accessory, so the rarity would be okay with them, um, what would I do, I'd probably, look, I like the, I like this pattern here, I love that wolf, I'd probably get, I personally would probably go for this one here, um, I don't have any wolves with that pattern, love the color combination as well, it's got one accessory, that's what I would do. Uh, for the wheels, look, yeah, I've got one of these already, as I said, but I love that maker model, the classic look. Um, for floor price, I'd go with that as well. So what's that, 0 0.5. So we're talking about 1.4 Ethereum up to there, 1.4 Ethereum. And then the motor, I certainly wouldn't be looking at a hover. Um, let's get rid of that there. I'd be going floor or close to floor for the hover. Sorry. Um, yeah, if you want to go by uh, dirt bike riding or on, on sand, if you've already got your car, if you've already got access to the roads. Um, look, I would probably, how much more for the exotics? I'd probably go an exotic. For 0.07 more, I'd probably get an exotic. Are there any others there? Yeah, so you're talking just over 0.5 Ethereum will get you uh, a trinity of assets in Wilder World. And um, uh, I've got a question here. How many trinities do you have? I've got three. I've got three trinities. Uh, certainly not a whale. Very, very happy with my position on that. Um, uh, I know people have got a lot more. People are a lot more invested than me. Look, the other option is, you know, if you've got a bit of cash and you maybe you've not got the 1.5, 1.6 Ethereum to get a Trinity, you know, have a look at um, uh, have a look at the Wild Token. Um, that's going pretty well at the moment. It has been low. It doubled in price, very short, very low market cap. So you might want to have a look into that. But if you want the six benefits of Trinities, so the first one is the new Genesis asset. That is the snapshot for that is on the first of March. So if you want that benefit. Uh, the mint price will be free for Trinity holders. Um, if they don't all sell out, it will go to Trinity holders on the secondary market for 0 0.2, 0 0.2 Ethereum. But that won't be for public sale. That will only be for people that own Trinities but have, you know, maxed out their allocation. Um, what else? So the land will be coming up probably later on this year. It depends on how, how the crypto market and over, overall is going. Um, I've lost my track of thought. What was I saying? What was I saying? This is the problem with going live. Um, bugger, what was I saying? It's gone, it's gone. Okay, so, yep, so for 1.6, 1.7, oh, that's it, it's talking about land. 
So the three land drops, Genesis land, look, I suspect that when Genesis land is announced, uh, my gut feeling, not financial advice, my gut feeling is that the price of these will all rocket. Genesis land um, is the is the top when it comes to metaverse projects on the secondary market for other established metaverses they go for an absolute fortune so for 1.6 1.7 ethereum getting a um getting a trinity of assets now before um, any of the benefits have started might not be a bad option all right guys thanks for tuning in um yeah my first live stream of Probably was a disaster, but that's okay. I've, you've got to give it a go at some stage, right? Um, any questions on the live chat? We've got a few people tuned in. Any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will be signing off. What have I covered? Um, more information on the Zine, or Zine, sorry, zine.wilderworld.com. If you go there and you want more information, this is the next, uh, or this is the first of the Trinity assets that is being um, uh, given to Trinity holders. You can see here the collection size 3,700 gens. Everyone with a Trinity will be able to mint one for free, just your guess. Um, and the snapshot for that is coming up on the 1st of March. So time is ticking if you want to get all six benefits. If you're watching this in a few months' time before land's announced, then you can still get your Trinity and still get your land. You just won't get all of the Trinity benefits. Who knows what the price of these assets will be then as well. Um, okay, that's it, guys. Thanks. And um, yeah. Have a fantastic day, evening, morning, wherever you are. I'll speak to you all soon.